Credit to Ole Miss, they played a really good game, got a good team, played a great first half. They controlled the first half very well. Their offense did a great job of uh, moving the football uh, up and down the field. Uh, had lots of opportunities. Our defense became opportunistic in two or three chances. That stopped them down there when they didn't kick field goals and things and kept us in the game and gave us a chance. Offensively, first half, we had too many missed assignments, didn't play with enough poise. We didn't play enough poise on offense and defense either way the first half. We didn't play and, and execute the plays and make the tackles, and that's a disappointing thing coming up here. Put ourselves behind the eight ball too fast, too quick to make the plays in which we needed to make and uh, uh, do that. But I thought then the second half offensively, you know, after we just we drop a ball, miss two blocks, have a penalty, just, just self-inflicted wounds and things like that, miss a throw, and then come back second half, moved it really well, uh, needed to finish. Uh, defense, we played well because we kept them off the field, and that was what we needed to do in the first half more of. But then once they got hot, they were moving it. Um, kicked a field goal the first drive down there, missed a third and four, had a chance, and then we hit a touchdown and made a great play there. Uh, the next drive down, it was disappointing. We had, got the ball to the 10-yard line, had a chance to take the lead, miss a block, get a second and 12, then we drop a ball, and it goes third down, and uh, miss a throw and have a penalty, get the field goal, 15-13, so we're there, and uh, and what we did. So uh, then, then, we, then we had the uh, – they drove again, punted, controlled him, got the ball back on the eight, just dropped the ball. Coming off on second down, had a nice completion, it was a little bit high, but we had to throw our hands and they got an interception right there and then got the uh, got the drive and got ahead. Then we tried to come back on the next one. We our two receivers, they got tangled together right there and tripped and broke it out and then uh, got the pick six. But then we come back and scored again. If we hit the two point play, we still got a chance on the onside to come back. And the two point play was there. The guy just got up, we got to put a little more air on that ball and and make it. But our you know, listen, we tried, we've competed, we didn't give up in the game. We Got back in the game, had chances to win the game. That's the thing that was disappointing. Once we got back to that point, we had chances to win the game and do the things we needed to do, and uh, didn't do it. And uh, from that point on, it, uh, you know, they got that. They made the play at the end and, and did it. But disappointing because I thought we didn't, I just didn't like the poise we played with early in the game now, and on both sides of the ball. I mean, even though they didn't score some points in the first half, they had plenty of opportunities to. I mean, they were up and down the field, and, and we got to do a better job in that. We got to tackle better in that situation. We got to, but offensively, we got to match and do those things. We're moving it good. Just, we kept, you know, get to midfield, just couldn't get it through there. And uh, disappointing. But they're a good football team, but we still got two games left, so we got to battle up and go play. Jim, why do you think uh, y'all didn't play with the poise that you? Just, I think, anxious sometimes. I mean, I think we played well and on the road, and I don't know, just didn't act. I mean, just, I'm going to look at the film and see what it actually is. And I just didn't, I mean, we come off, I mean, just, it's just inches or inches off. It's a foot off. It's an inch off. It's a here off on offense. Defensively, I don't know. I got to look at that film. I mean, they, they, they spread us out and broke some, and got some running game going that I, uh, surprised me a little bit. And then they, they, they threw it. They, we couldn't cover them there early. We couldn't cover them. They were hitting the throws and, and got us early. Was Devon underutilized today? No. Him and, him and Spiller both. Play to death. I mean, they're going to keep in that same rotation and do the things we got to do. I know that you knew they were going to move at tempo, but I think it was like 58 plays in the first half. Were you expecting that kind of tempo? Well, it's not, that had not, the tempo, they got 58 plays because we didn't get the first downs on offense. Second half, how many did they have? Less. I mean, a lot less because we kept the ball on offense. And if we'd have kept the ball on offense, it would have helped that a lot. And if we'd have got off the field, though. But because the thing about it was, we were backed up. We had them backed up. All their drives started. First, second one on the four, eight, ten, twelve. You know they were backed up. They just executed and, and got balls out. We didn't cover and, and didn't get the tackles we need to make. They outplayed us. Jimbo, on the, after the, the fourth down goal line stand, the safety on the very next play, where Spiller got tackled. What happened? There? Got beat on the block inside. Got, guy didn't get off the ball on time for some reason. Was a was a half snap count on the on late and got penetration. That's what I think. That's what I understand happened. He he didn't he got off the ball late. And the guy beat him inside and made the play. It was, it was a play we've been running for about six yards of play all the way earlier in that game. So, what do you see on the two interceptions, Coach? Two interceptions one dropped them. Got to catch it. And the other one, two receivers tangled up, rolled up deep, got inside, got a flat, and then he threw it too far inside. Once they tangled it, threw the timing of it off. Once their feet got tangled uh, on the route, when they, when they come off, they tripped and got stumbling, got going, and it threw the timing of it off. And he's, he's got to throw it way wide. Just try to be wide because that allowed the safety to get over the top. That's what I saw there. I'll look at the film and see. Yeah, well, do you think the drops that happen, do you think that affects Zach to some degree? Like oh, it affects anybody. It always affects the quarterback, but you got you can't let it affect you. Just like a missed run or a miss. I mean, we talk about a drop, but it, we had a couple missed runs inside we had. We missed a couple missed blocks. There was, we were one block, one, there were two big runs. We're a half a man. If we get our hat to the outside shoulder, they're, they're out the gate. And But that's, you know, it's a game of inches. You fight for the inches. You fight for the inches. And 
They won, they won the inches the second half. We won them for the most part the second half. I mean, they won the first half. We won them a lot the second half until the end when we just didn't finish and make the play. That was a disappointing thing because we got ourselves, after all that, got ourselves back in a position you could still win the game. You know what I'm saying? And just didn't finish it the way we need to finish. So we need to grow from that and learn. You mentioned, a couple more. you mentioned the, the six yards on the play on the – the safety play, does that, does the analytics tell you that it's okay? To I ain't no analytics. I ain't in analytics. We run good plays that run, that are good play. I ain't, I ain't an analytic guy. Analytics are, that play had been making yards and we made it, what happened was we didn't get off the ball. I'm not, I'm not trying to jump, I mean, analytics, it's just what we've been running, been running well. Touchdown run that Ole Miss got in there and put, put them up nine, looked like, was it a misalignment? I don't, I, I can't, I can't tell. I, I, I have to wait and look at the film to see that. I can't see that. That's a hard one to see. Good player, and, we, and he had tackle. We didn't tackle well. He, he ran well, we didn't bat well, and he's a good player. He's fast. Tim, after the game was 15-13, did you consider going back to eight chains since you had the hot streak on the drive prior? Yeah, we tried. I'm trying to rotate him back, and we're going to give Spiller one minute. But listen, the guy's had 3,000 yards, man. The guy's our guy. 3,000 yards, one of the greatest backs in our in our school history, and he's playing well. And no reason we keep him in the same rotation. That's the way it was going. And that had nothing to do with the 15-13. Because the first play was a batted ball, and the second play was a pick. Went through his hands, so they wouldn't have touched it anyway. Looking back, would you like to run it one time down there before the, that sequence you just talked about? No, I was a run. It was an RPO. The first one was – then the second one was second long. The first one was an RPO, and they blitzed off the edge and had an extra guy in the box, and we RPO'd it and, and did it. So. On the, the, the delay game call on the, on the punt, did you, would you want them to come up and measure that? Is that what you were asking the refs on? Yes. I want – I mean – if it was on the line, I mean, it, it's a millimeter. I'd like to know. I mean, I'd, I'd like to see it. That's what I was just trying to ask. But it didn't matter. On the, I, and then we could have held it. I was trying to talk to them, and then usually they do it, but the, that five yards didn't matter. Building off what Travis asked you earlier, how did – It's disappointing we didn't – what's bad it was second and three. We missed a run on second and three, and then we missed a block on third and inches. That was disappointing because it's third and inches. We didn't make it. That was disappointing. Building off what Travis asked you earlier, how did Coach Kiffin hurry up offense because he's a threat in tonight's game, and how tiring is – well, it is. If you don't on offense, if you don't get your plays in, it becomes tiring. And they had a moment. It's a momentum thing. Just like the second half when they didn't have momentum, we had it. They couldn't get it going. I mean, it, they struggled just like we did in the first half. It was basically they had 96 yards the first half. We had 80. We had three 300 the second half. They had 370 the first half. I mean, it was the same. It was a flip of two halves. So those offenses are great. I mean, they are, and they get momentum going. But they're the same thing when they don't have momentum. Everything is in momentum. So first half they played it great. Second half. We should have finished on – we could have finished on offense and been better. When you came in half, you guys had given up 400, but your offensive scoreboard wasn't that bad. Defensively, it looked like you guys played pretty well. Well, we, we, the red zone, they didn't kick field. They went forward on fourth down. We played great short, great red zone defense. They would fake the field goal. I think – was that the first half or second half? Second, second half. Second half, they faked the field goal. Uh, I'm trying to remember that. And uh, something else they did. First half, they could have scored and didn't score. Got oh, got a sack. Got a strip fumble. Got the strip fumble and down there, and that's I say you play tight zone defense and manage those situations, and did it. But you know they, but they, they got us tired. I mean the number of plays and them executing up and down the field. All right, coach. Thanks. Anybody else? Thank you.